Okay, hello and welcome back to another video. I'm liking this setup. I feel like we haven't done one a sit down video in absolutely ages. Two, I just feel like I haven't done. I don't even think I've done one like by myself. I feel like the last one I just might have been like the sale shot that I did with Jed. So this is a weird feeling. Kind of fun, kind of fresh. But obviously you would have seen the title of this video being that we are trying the whole Starbucks Christmas range. Now I haven't opened any of the bags that I've got, but oh my God, the receipt that I got with this, it goes on for so long. I've been working with Starbucks recently, which has been so, so amazing. Like I'm just so happy that I get the opportunities to work with brands that I'm like, absolutely loving but i've got my pajamas on i hope you guys have got your pajamas on too it's a sunday and it is absolutely disgusting outside but you know what for some reason me and jed both say it like in this apartment when it's rainy oh my god i don't know why we love it it's so cozy when we put the candles on inside and it's just so snug and it's just amazing right this is the last thing i'm going to say before we get into this video thank you so much to croyer jewelry i hope i'm pronouncing that right i'll put it on the screen as well as link it down below because oh my god i think i found one of my new favorite jewelry brands they also kindly gifted me a load of stuff this is a cartier dupe kind of style bangle i love my bangles and then this necklace oh my god i just love it so much so i'll make sure to leave it down below as we go draw to christmas i feel like a christmas gift idea video is very much needed because oh my god i have some gems to share with you okay so i am so excited to dig into this i did see that when i was like ordering it through delivery that loads were like the flavors that they brought out they've also brought out in a hot a frappuccino and like an ice style so i tried to i basically got all the flavors but in different forms that i thought would fit the flavor the best if that makes sense. Yay, we got them. Oh my God, I was so scared that we weren't going to. I, why is this a thing? Why do we get excited over Starbucks Christmas cups? Love that. I don't, I think we've missed, they've, oh, hmm, hmm. I don't trust delivery anymore. I don't trust them. They did this, I think like a few days ago as well. I don't trust them. Went to have five drinks, got four. So the one that they have missed off is a caramel waffle one, which I was so excited for, but we're just gonna have to try it another time. We've got a lot here. And I quickly grab my straw. Parkour. Okay, so we're gonna do it like a lucky dip each time. We're gonna do a drink and a food and a drink and a food until we run out of stuff. <laughs> okay, so the first thing that I have got is an iced, I did have to get decaf coffee because I was like, if I'm gonna be drinking this with coffee, I'm actually gonna be bouncing around the place. I know that a lot of you probably would have picked up by now that I speak very fast. So I think if I had coffee added into this mix, I really don't quite know what would happen. So we have gone for quite a few decaf options. First one I've got is the toffee nut latte, which I've heard so many people talk about. I feel like it's a favorite when it comes out and just like everyone enjoys it. No, because I enjoy that way too much. Oh, wow. That is like toffee nut to a tea. Like the toffee in it is very like toffee. It's not burnt caramel. I feel like we're going to have to rate each one as we go. And you know what? That is actually a solid like eight. It's kind of bitter. I feel like you might need to put like a simple syrup in it maybe. Okay, we're going with an eight for the toffee nut latte. Also, I don't know about anyone else, but I'm an absolute TikTok addict. I love, love, love this girl called Anna. I don't want to pronounce the second name i'll put her handle like here because i feel like you would have seen her but i don't want to pronounce the second name because i feel like i'm gonna be wrong but anna is like the starbucks queen on tiktok she's american but like she does these like drive throughs and oh my god there's something about her videos where you watch it and you instantly just get like a boost of like serotonin and she always does this thing where she like she drinks it and then she's like which i've now it's now personality trait of mine i can't help it like you know when you just see people do stuff and you're like oh you know that's kind of cute but she does this thing and then like she screams afterwards and you never actually hear her verdict you think that she likes it because obviously she screamed but she'll never say like oh this is, this is really nice because of this like she'll just scream but like it's just like her going into starbucks and talking to the people and she's just so lovely and i don't know why but i'm just getting major anna vibes right now okay i've already picked this one out and this is the red velvet low oh my god red I was about to say red velvet loaf cake. Red velvet loaf cake. And this looks so, so yummy. So we're gonna tuck into this. Mmm. Mmm. The flavors. Wow. I don't know quite what that was. Okay. So first I was not tasting much and then it all hit me at once. I think the frosting is like a cream cheesy style. Cause it's kind of like a bit of savory, sweet, yum. The one thing I would say is without the cream cheese, sorry, I do not mean to be talking about mouthful without the cream cheese on the loaf like with the loaf it's not dry but it's a bit bland also red velvet confuses the out of me because people put red food coloring in it but then some people don't but then apparently it's made for beetroots but it doesn't taste like a beetroot it tastes like cake but then i don't know what the flavor is it's just red velvet that would make sense okay i'm gonna give that like a five or a six i feel like i need to be brutal because i don't want to come here and be like oh my god like i love everything but that is really good again i just feel like i'd want the cream cheese like all over it 
there's my unhealthy habits for you. I'm gonna try a warm drink. So we've got the eggnog latte. Now I've tried eggnog before and from what I can remember, it's a yellow alcoholic thing that you put with lemonade. I don't know if other families do it differently, but at Christmas time, that is what me, me and my family do. Oh my God. That's so smart. I don't know if anyone else gets like wowed by these things, but you pull that up and you twist it. So then obviously like it's not like in your face. And then when you, when you don't want another sip, why is that so smart? So I don't know how they've made this into a latte. Also, is it a latte or is it latte? Oh, just a latte, please. That was me trying to be Australian and just that massive f***ed up. Okay, I didn't swear. No, that's so good. Oh my God, why are these so good? <coughs> that was ugly. I'm gonna have to try and communicate what I'm tasting, but I don't quite know what exactly the flavors are. Obviously like eggnog, but it doesn't taste like eggnog but it does it tastes you know what it really tastes like is you know those egg custard tart it tastes like that in the form of a drink so if you love that i would highly reckon who was that but i know that that's kind of like an acquired taste also the coffee isn't super strong so it's nice that you get like the full flavor it's kind of like a milky latte i'm actually gonna give this one a nine this one's a whole nine if you've like tried any tell me which ones are your favorites down below tell me if you didn't like them or if you really love them which ones are we feeling for this december we're in november don't worry i am fully aware but like just sound it's Christmas. Even though me and Jenna think we're putting our Christmas tree up like maybe this week or next week. Okay, so I've just done a little like lucky dip from my bag of food. And I've just picked up the S'mores Brownie Blonde. Oh my god. She oh my god, look at her. That is so cute. Okay, I'm getting it everywhere. Shop. Oh my god. Oh my god. You know what? The marshmallow is actually really good. Like, I, you know when sometimes you're like, oh, that's a tiny marshmallow on top of a cake and I can barely gonna be able to taste that, but the texture of that is so yummy. It's so, right, I hate, I knew I was gonna use this one. I didn't want to use it. It's moist. It's so moist and gooey and just, oh my God, that's so yummy. You know what, that's a 10. I know that that is a very, very strong contender to be like the favorite. At the end of this, I feel like I'm gonna do um, my favorite drink and favorite food, Christmas combo, and then you guys are gonna have to go and order it and let me know what you think, or don't. That's up to you, but you know. So this one I'm so excited for, and I got the gingerbread frappuccino. Now, I did think that this would be best in frappuccino form. I don't know why, I just thought the cream with the gingerbread would just be 10 out of 10, which I'm hoping it's gonna be. I just know that this is gonna be so, so good. I can't open it. Okay. I can't decide if I love it or hate it. It's one of those things where I love it, and I hate it at the same time because it's a very strong taste in terms of the gingerbread strong and the coffee's kind of strong, that, which is slightly unusual because normally frappuccinos are quite like on the weaker side of the coffee spectrum. No, I do think I enjoy that. It just, it's a lot at once. There's like a lot of sweet, there's a lot of ginger, there's a lot of coffee. And I don't know how well the ginger and the coffee are going well together on my taste palette. I love gingerbread, I love gingerbread, oh my god. Um, me and Jed, I'm, well, Jed has no choice in this. I'm making me and Jed do a gingerbread house competition. There's there's no argument about it, we're doing it. And I'm so excited. I'm gonna give this one an eight still, which you're probably thinking, Imogen, you pretty much just slagged off the drink, why are you giving it an eight? And that is because I love gingerbread so much. Or is it a seven? So I give it a seven just because, you know, spice things up. Haha, <laughs> do you get it? Gingerbread is not a spice engine. Oh my God, I've really not, I keep speaking to myself on YouTube thinking like, oh my God, like, yeah, that's gonna be so cute when you edit it back and realistically, I'm just gonna cringe myself the whole way through. I feel like it might be slightly better warm, you know? Would it be weird to put this in the microwave? Probably. Another lucky dip. Okay, what have we got? Oh no, this one's too cute. Okay, so this is the South Pole Sam shortbread. <laughs> no, I can't, he looks a bit squished. He looks a little bit squished. I feel like this is gonna be on the plainer side, but like, oh, he was just too cute. And he's part of the Christmas venue, so obviously had to get him. Oh my God, he has Smarties on him. Everyone, meet Sam. Oh, I ripped off your nose. I don't care what anyone says, the orange Smarties taste of orange. I don't know whether it's a mental thing, or they're the only ones that have, they've like flavored, but they taste of orange. <sighs> I feel like these would be so, so good. Like say you went to like Starbucks for a date, get yourself one of these, big mug, hot drink, dipping in. Cause that is just a shortbread covered in chocolate, but it's still like a classic. So it's still really good. Okay, I wanna give a five, six, six, five, five and a half. Cause it was still really good, but it also equally is just a shortbread in chocolate. So I'm just gonna pick this one up. So I've got a toffee nut muffin. Oh my God, why did I not eat this with the toffee nut drink? Oh, it got put up so now it's a bit squished. It's a bit squished. Here is the toffee nut muffin. This looks so yum. And you know what? We're gonna bring back the toffee nut. Okay. 
I love this because there's so much like moisture involved. I don't know if you can see that, but there's toffee nut filling inside and then there's also cream on top. So I love a good filling. Do I put it on par with the brownie? Yes, I do. I really, really thoroughly enjoy that. And definitely, I so should have done this video with the drink and the thing at the same time. I would say this tastes more of a toffee nut and this just tastes more of a toffee, but it's still like a really, really good muffin. We're gonna go with a nine. Okay, I actually love these cookies so much. And fun fact, I always, always get these cookies when I go into Starbucks. I just, I can't not leave them behind. Normally they're dressed as baristas. You're thinking, Imogen, why have you just said a cookie is dressed as barista? But um, if you know the bears that they have in Starbucks, this is a Santa barista. How cute is he? It is obviously a gingerbread. We, we've we discussed my gingerbread love, but again, I am also gonna save her for a different a rainy day, just, you know, because she's sealed, she can go in the cupboard for a while. Okay, moving on to the last drink, which I am so excited about. We've got the praline cookie hot chocolate. Okay, so the one that I found that's probably most likely gonna go with the same thing is the chocolate and caramel muffin. I feel like this might be vegan. Yeah, so this one's actually plant-based. I was thinking, I was like, where's the vegan sticker? But it says PB for plant-based. Chocolate and caramel muffin to go with the praline chocolate cookie. I know that obviously this isn't a cookie. I'm not dumb, but chocolate, you know? Okay, so. That is a very good hot chocolate. I wouldn't, I, I don't think I can taste the praline, praline, here we go with word pronunciations, but I can taste bits coming up. So I'm pretty sure they put cookie over the top of it that's now melted, but I wouldn't go as far as, I can taste some kind of nut. See, that would be the praline, but I wouldn't say it's very overpowering. It's very, very mute. Why do I think I'm Gordon Ramsay tasting all these things? I'm really trying to pull out these like fancy words. That wasn't even a fancy word, but do you know what I mean? I'm really trying to express my vocabulary to you guys right now. I do really enjoy it, but equally, I think I would just prefer maybe a hot chocolate. I'm not overly wild by that. I think I'm gonna give it a five. Brutal. This looks so moist. I genuinely think that's one of the best muffin, like chocolate muffins I've ever had. The density, the moisture in that, but it's not also super sickly and it's not super like, oh my God, like by the end of this, I feel like it's gonna like really sit in my stomach. It's quite light in a really weird way. Oh my God. And it's got these like little crunchy, crunchy flakes all over the top. I've probably got chocolate in my teeth while I'm talking, but you know what, that's life. Two more cakes to try. Jesus Christ, I don't think I've ever eaten so much cake in one entire sitting. Okay, so this is the ginger mini loaf. I love the mini loaves. I also highly recommend the carrot cakes from Jan Juice. They kind of look like this as well, but this is the gingerbread one or ginger. Oh no, this looks so good. Okay, so a little close up. Oh my God. No, that's so good. If you ever had like a Jamaican loaf, it's very similar to that, but like a little less, more on the very just like ginger side. That is really good. If you love ginger gingerbread, oh my God, where's my gingerbread? Yum. Okay, we're on to our final piece from the Starbucks menu. We've got another mini loaf and this is a toffee nut mini loaf. They've really, they've really gone wild with the toffee nut, haven't they? Again, she's looking beautiful. Should we have another sip on the toffee nut? I don't think I like that one. It kind of tastes like a ball of popcorn. I like popcorn, but then it doesn't taste like popcorn. It's very nutty. Still think it's a great cake. If we're talking culinary skills, baking. Mm, she's a three. She's three and a half, four. Why do I do that? I'm like, I can't give a straight answer. That's my indecisiveness coming through. Okay, so if I'm gonna give you my Christmas Starbucks order, I'm actually gonna have to give you, which is kind of surprising me, the eggnog latte. Oh my God, did I, just pick I picked up the wrong one, of course it is. The eggnog latte. Oh, what am I gonna do? Oh, I've got so many factors running through my head right now because I'm like, am I going off pure like taste or am I going off like Christmas? Cause like this, yum. <laughs> wow, so many descriptive words there. I think I might have to go for the ginger loaf, you know? I did thoroughly enjoy it. And I feel like the s'mores brownie is very nice. Obviously like s'mores, winter, but it is equally just a brownie in terms of the Christmas aspect. I think we're gonna have to go with the uh, ginger loaf. Eggnog latte and a ginger loaf, I highly recommend. Again, if you like ginger, if you don't like ginger, you're screwed. I didn't say that, I didn't use that word. That's my final call. We're gonna leave it there. I have enjoyed doing this video so much. One, I've enjoyed like just sitting down. I feel like we definitely need to do like a sit down Q&A catch up type thing. Equally, I don't know about anyone else, but I am so super excited for December. I don't know why, but I feel like we all need this Christmas. It sounds really strange, but I just feel like a really lovely Christmas is just what the doctor ordered. I'm excited for the cozy nights, the winter nights, seeing family, making Christmas foods. Why am I going back to the foods? But honestly, that gingerbread house competition will be coming. And I'm thinking about doing Vlogmas. 25 days, 25 videos. Do we want it? Anyways, I'm gonna love you and leave you. Thank you so much if you have watched this far. Thank you so much if you have subscribed. Um, please subscribe. Joking. Do what you will with that. But yeah, please make sure to comment and like below. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Okay, hello from Future Me. I know this is really random. I'm um, just to quickly like jump back on after I've already done my outro but I basically just wanted to say a huge thank you to everyone who has been supporting me um through this whole YouTube journey. I have absolutely loved 
starting YouTube and I can't thank you guys enough and just as like a kind of little thank you back I basically topped up my Starbucks card but not for me to use for you to use I'm gonna insert like a screenshot of the barcode that you'll need when you go to your Starbucks and um, but I put a certain amount of money on there just so you guys can go and get a Starbucks drink on me I know that not everyone will be able to use this but when you happen to be in your next local Starbucks or if you happen to be going there this evening or going on a drive or a walk just see if it's used I'll put it on my Instagram when it's kind of finished just so you guys don't wait a journey because like I was saying I know that not everyone will be able to use it as it will obviously run out of money whether you get the drinks that I recommended or one that you've been wanting to try or your favorite just whatever I, I just really wanted to kind of like say thank you and yeah there'll be a few little giveaway gift giving going up to Christmas I feel like this is the time to give back say thanks and yeah so stay tuned for all of that but I can't thank you guys enough lots of love